So we just looked at um, doing the six steps to inferential statistics for the first time. And now I just made a ma minor little tweak. What I did was I changed this number and I wanted to show you how this minor change can change everything that happens. So let's kind of start over with our new story. So it is known that in February, Orange County has an average temperature of 69 degrees with a standard deviation of eight. Today in Orange County, it is 95 degrees. Do the six steps to inferential statistics to see if today is significantly different from average. So remember, our first step is to write our research question. And so I can just really copy and paste um, from that research question. So it's going to be, I'm just going to go to that font there. Ah, stop doing that. Okay. Is today different? from average, and that's a question. And now for two, I wanna write my null and my alternative. And remember, we can really use what we already have, so we're gonna make this a statement. So I'm just copying and pasting. Today is different from average, and then today is not different. So this so far is the same. Is not different. So now we want to do step three, which is our rejection region. So I want to look at my research question and I'm still dealing with the word different. So I should still see a two-tailed test. So I'm going to, maybe I'll write it up in words here. So the rejection region is um, scores above 1.96 or below negative 1.96, oops. And now I wanna draw it too, because I like to draw. That's my favorite way. And we'll have these down here. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this little, so I wanna draw it. So I'm gonna say, oops, <laughs> here's my distribution. And now remember I have to label it. So here's 1.96, here's negative 1.96. And then I wanna make sure I'm clear that these are my rejection regions. So I'll label them RR to make sure I'm clear. All right, so now here's where something's changed. I have changed the numbers. Um, so I'm gonna put four over in this spot here because I kind of used up my space. So let's go ahead and do the math. So remember, it's going to be that your score minus the mu divided by the standard deviation. So in this case now, my score is what? What do you think my score is? Go ahead and leave the prompt and see what score we're gonna put in. That will be 95. So it's gonna be 95 minus 69 divided by eight. So this is where I need to do my calculator and I'm just gonna type it in. You can trust me, I'm using my calculator. So it's 95 minus 69 divided by eight. And so this comes out to be 3.25, so that means this z-score is 3.25, which kind of makes sense if you think about it. Um, this, six, this 95 is much larger than the 69, so to have such a large z-score uh, is not too surprising. All right, so now we wanna put that in our picture. So here we have 1.96, this is the line for 1.96. So where would 3.25 go? It's probably gonna be over here. Um, and so this line here, let me get long, that is our z-score for today's temperature. And you can see that's in the rejection region. So for step five, oops. For step five here, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna reject the null because it's in the rejection region. And so since I've rejected the null, then really I have to come over here and cross this one off because I've rejected it. Can I be dramatic about it? Like I reject you, null. So maybe I will, I'm just gonna take my scribble pen and I'll be dramatic. Let's see if it'll let me be dramatic. See, I reject you, null, you were so evil and bad. Okay, so I rejected the null. And so now what I could do is go back and look at my um, conclusions. And this says today is different from average. See, that's the one that's left. Today is different from average. So you might want to think that I should write that. So today is different from average. But again, like I showed you in the video when we were talking about conclusions, that's kind of a, 
a lame conclusion. It didn't really tell you anything. If you said, hey, grandma, today was really different from average, grandma's not gonna know what you mean. So you, if you conclude that there's a difference, then you need to be clear and actually get specific now about where the difference is. So here you would say, instead of saying is different from average, today's temperature really we should say, higher than average. And that is much more specific. So you can see how all these steps really remained the same, but when the number changed, it changed what happened after we did the math. So steps one, two, and three stayed the same, but when we did the math, it changed our uh, decision about the null and our conclusion. So now we'll practice some other uh, iterations of something similar. <laughs> 